Alrighty guys, welcome back. Okay, now that we're done proofreading our edit underscore page dot PHP file, we can now go back to our page underscore form dot PHP file and recode our if else statement and our for loop right here. But really quickly, I wanna make a comment at the top, letting us know that this form is gonna be included in our new underscore page dot PHP file and our edit underscore page dot PHP file. So I'm just gonna go up here to the top and I'm gonna make a quick little comment this page is going to be included in our edit underscore page file and our new underscore page file okay I'm gonna go ahead and drop this down a little bit so I can get my new page right there let's go back here Okay, so underneath my comment right here, what I wanna do is I wanna test our Boolean variable, AKA our new underscore page variable. So if the new page has not been set, then we're gonna go ahead and set it to false. Remember the variable that we created on our new underscore page dot PHP variable? Where is it? Right here, page underscore, or new underscore page equals to true. Well, that's why I created it. So we can test it on our page underscore form dot php file let me go back i think i see another error right here yep i do there's no file extension right here this makes me think that this might be on another page as well but that's an easy fix okay so let's go ahead and go up here and let's create another php opening close tag nope can't stand when it does that and it just did it again I'll just start over here. And if new page is not set, let's go ahead and set it equal to false. Nope, that's not how you spell false. Now I'm gonna consolidate this code a little bit. Actually, I'm just gonna put this all in one line. What do you guys think of that? Okay. We need to refactor this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this select name up to the top right there. And I think I'm just gonna erase all this PHP in here because we're not dealing with information, we're dealing with pages. So let's go ahead and use our variable that we just created. If, nope, if new, if not new page, Then we want to execute, create a variable. We'll just call it page set, and we'll set it equal to. Remember the function that we created way back when? It was called like get pages for info. Let's look over here. Get pages for info. This is the this is the correct function that we want to use right here. So let's go ahead and execute get pages for info table two and we're going to index information ID and I know that we're kind of going back to the first maybe 10 videos so it's been a long time since we've seen this stuff but this is the correct syntax we're going to need to execute adding editing updating and deleting our pages so after here let's Go ahead and create another variable, and I want to use the PHP function MySQL number of rows. So let's go ahead and drop down here, and we'll call this page count, and we'll set this equal to the PHP function MySQL number rows. And in here, let's go ahead and use this variable, and I'm going to copy and paste it to avoid any spelling errors. Let's close that out. Nope, got it backwards. One too many. Nope. There it is. Okay, so now let's go ahead and execute or conclude our else statement. And we're gonna need another set of curly braces. And inside here, we'll use our variable again, page set. 
as well as the same function for info. And in here, we are going to use our first table variable. So table one with our index of ID. And we go ahead and close that out. And what I want to include in this else statement is our other variable that we just created, page count, as well as MySQL, again, number of rows. And in here, I'm going to grab this variable again. page set and I want to set it to auto increment or not auto increment but plus one every time this executes its else statement and now we need to tack on our for loop okay, I'm gonna crank out this for loop remember for loops need three expressions so for count will set equal to one not zero nope and count less than or equal to what's our variable up here page page set or count page count sorry about that page count and we're going to increment by one plus plus and if this is true if, I mean if this finds what it's looking for sorry and we're going to echo option value and like how we do our CSS um, curly braces or variable count closing curly braces backspace and we need no just one backspace but two double quotations that's right and if table two with an index of position, please don't let me spell anything wrong at this point, is equal to count, then let's go ahead and echo got two, yeah. Um, to, 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 to echo, give it a space. We're really just concatenating a string to our variable. If we don't have a space, it's going to look like one giant word. Selected. That's it. That's all I want to do for my for loop. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this closing brace and bring it back up there. This closing brace refers to this opening brace up here, and we should be good with that. Sorry, guys, this video went on a little bit longer than I'd like to. I'm going to end right now. Good luck. Follow along. We'll see you in the next one.